Well, hello. Over the last several months, we've been talking about the Honor Code. There's seven articles in the Honor Code. We're up to Article 6 this month. That's about being courageous. Being courageous is about leaning into the pain of your doubts and fears to do what you know is right, even when it feels uncomfortable, unsafe, maybe even a little painful, but we're going to do the right thing. That's courage. And it comes in many flavors, so to speak. It, it can mean flying a jet airplane into combat and being a POW. In fact, some of the most courageous acts I've ever seen were in the POW camp. I've talked about Stockdale, Denton, and Reisner, those in my writings and speaking, and the courage they said as our senior leaders there in the POW camp. But Captain Ken Fisher, 29-year-old captain in my cell, was very courageous, and he set a great example for me and for the rest of us in that cell. There were five of us total in that cell. He relieved the senior ranking officer of command because he was collaborating with the enemy. Can you believe that? That takes a lot of courage. He also was tortured for 23 days in leg irons, leg irons actually fastened to a stool, a little stool, handcuffs, and most of the time uh, a blindfold across his eyes. Guards would come by this torture cell and punch him with a stick to keep him awake. He was kept awake 24 hours a day. Maddening. But he resisted the enemy. He showed courage to resist them because they wanted him to make a propaganda statement. What they really were doing also was trying to break him and our cell from our resistance to them. But he bounced back and continued to lead in a courageous way. But it can also, courage can apply in the smallest ways in every level. I've coached CEOs because they didn't want to have a relationship with their people. I was coaching this one CEO and he said, well, it's just not my thing. I don't build relationships well. I do a lot of other things well. And I said, yeah, you're good at the mission, but you know as a leader, part of a leader is leading people. you got to build a relationship. So we worked on that. I made him a little spreadsheet because he was good at getting results. So he could check off. He had the names of his people down one side and across the top were the, were the things that he needed to get to know about them. And his job was over the next month to get those checked off. And it worked, and he saw the value of connecting with his people. Another CEO I coached on giving affirmation, positive affirmation. He said, it feels hokey, it feels uncomfortable. And I said, but you're a courageous man. You can do this, and you know leaders should do this, right? He said, yeah. I said, you can do it. He did learn to do that, and it really revolutionized his leadership. So it can come at every level, though. Personally, I struggle with courage in the area sometimes of just keeping my mouth shut because I'm pretty opinionated, pretty outspoken, and sometimes it takes a lot of courage for me to sit there when I see the way something is going and I know it's not right, but I just need to shut up and, and let it go. That's been a hard struggle for me in terms of courage and also being out of control. Giving up control is very difficult for me. When you're a fighter pilot and you've been in a POW camp, Control is about life and death, but everything is not life and death. And I've had to learn that and to be courageous in backing away from that because it feels uncomfortable, it feels unnatural. Well, in our current culture, we see a lot of examples where people have lacked courage in owning up to their mistakes or in doing their duty. And almost every time we pick up a paper or we look at the media, we see TV or we go online and read the news, there's an example of someone not having the courage to do the right thing. Oh, how wonderful it would be if we could do the right thing. And it's really about courage. As a leadership coach now for 17 years, I think this is the biggest issue we face in our culture, in leadership, and that is courage. To lean into the pain of our doubts and fears, to do what we know is right. Now we at Leading with Honor and Leadership Freedom are very concerned about that, and so we've come up with a courage card to help you coach yourself on how to do that. And on one side it says take the courage challenge. Lean into the pain of your doubts and fears to do what you know is right even when it feels unsafe and uncomfortable. That's the challenge and if we can do that, come up with a plan sometimes to do that even and just move ahead and do the right thing, wow, that will revolutionize your leadership, it will revolutionize your life. On the back side we see this section and it shows three columns. Dominate in the middle is engage. And on the other side, on the right side, is withdraw. Most of us naturally, when we get angry or when we have fear, we try to dominate, 
We try to control, manipulate to keep things safe. Or we withdraw to keep things safe. When what we really need to do is engage and work through things. It takes a lot of courage and confidence and belief in ourselves and belief in the system, so to speak, to engage and work through things. Well, I hope you'll take us up on that. We have these packages in uh, packages of 10 at leadingwithhonor.com. You can get those. Looking ahead, what can you do? Take the courage challenge and remember, be courageous. Courage is contagious. You could start an epidemic and that would really be good for you and for all of us around you. Take care and I'll see you next month.